So back in 1960, when the Beatles were around, the same $100 would have buy you 88 grams of gold instead of one gram of gold. 88 grams of gold. Okay, so when that number rises, that number falls, and your purchasing power goes down. Now, you may be thinking, yes, but the wages have gone up. The problem is the wages have only gone up about as half as much as the money printed. So it means if you're living on a Campbell's soup and a burger every day, you buy you can buy half as much today as you could back then for the same for the same hour of work. So why don't we feel wealthier when we have more money? Because wealth does not consist in money, it consists in what money can purchase. We've known that since 1776 with the wealth of the nations, Adam Smith. Okay, so what's going on here? Who manages the system? And it sounds like the system is broken and it might not be fair. The question is, who manages the system? Before we get to the central bank, thank you. Uh, so each bank records who's, who has what money, right? Regions, trust mark, who has what money. And the central bank makes sure that two people don't own the same money. So it's really the central bank that controls that. It's actually a big spreadsheet. It's called a database, right? But it's really a big spreadsheet at the central bank that controls how much money is in the system. And the dollars in the system, the way they change it is there's a Federal Reserve Board of Governors. There's a group of people that get together about every month or two. And they, the, the chair is Jerome Powell, and they basically double click on that number and decide how much dollars there's gonna be in the system. And they do, they have a bunch of complicated ways of describing what they're doing, but eff effectively what they're doing is they're printing money out of thin air, they're just doing it in very creative ways. So that's why that number has been on a tear. The reason US dollars are being so diluted is because a small group of people controls whether there should be more of them, and magically, as throughout the entirety of human history, every time someone could make money out of thin air, it was only a matter of time until they found an excuse and an emergency that required them magically to go down in their basement and make money out of thin air. Now, if you and I do it, it's called counterfeiting. If the government does it, it's called a bunch of fancy words that mean it's supposed to be okay, but it's not. Okay, according to the Consumer Price Index, CPI, this is like the inflation they talk about on the news, Purchasing power of the U.S. dollar is down 95% since 1935. So from the end of the, you know, the sort of the heart of the Great Depression to today, you've got five cents of your purchasing power left as compared to what a dollar would buy you back then. What?